Tony Jacqueline putting for three on the 17th. And if ever he needed a putt to go in the hole, it's this one. And it is, it's in. It's in. But well, what a thing to do at a time like this. And what a lot now rests on this, the outcome of this putt. From Jack Nicklaus. No, it's a stray. And Tony Jackton has won this hole with a three. And the match now is all square. Brian Huggett heard that cheer for Jacqueline, and he thinks Jacqueline's won. As he putts at the 18th, Huggett mistakenly believes, I've got this for the Ryder Cup. Yeah. He's got it. Well, he's every right to do that. Now, I don't wonder. Cool, he said. Isn't that wonderful? And so that's all square. And Huggett overcome. But one hole to play, and it's Jacqueline versus Nicholas for the Ryder Cup. Distant from the hole, you couldn't ask for more than this. So just the two of them, they've got a putt each to come. And these putts will decide the entire Ryder Cup match of 1969. <laughs> now, anguish Jacqueline Nicholas has this long one to win the Ryder Cup for his side. Oh, he's gone a long way past. The awful thought that by missing this one, he might go into history as losing the Ryder Cup. Well done, indeed. There won't be a single man here who wanted him to miss it. And it's a half. They halved the hole, they halved their match, and the two countries halved the Ryder Cup. <laughs> 